What's the countdown for? <laughs> Crack. Is that an indication of when we're live? <laughs> yes, it is. Hi, everyone. Welcome to Hedgehog Hello. Hi, YouTube. Hi, Instagram. We seem to have the having silly Tuesday. Apparently, because of the long weekend, Greg's kind of lost the plot on us. I, I have not lost the plot. Being home I've never for had five the plot days. in the first place. But anyway, we thought we would do a Hedgehog Hollow happy hour. Sean's been playing with basic Snapchat filters, but on Instagram. So, uh, but apparently they only apply to Greg. They don't apply to anybody else who's on film. So, what do I look like on Instagram right now? You have a big old mouth. <laughs> I said, what do I look like specifically on Instagram? I know I have a big mouth. That's normal. Handsome. You look good. So uh, today we're going to be doing some tips with um, embossing, heat embossing, and Greg's been using his favorite technique of emboss resist, aren't you, Greg? What's that? Where you do the emboss and then you put the paint over the top. Oh, the brush thing. Yeah. I've incorporated that into the project for you. How do I do that again? <laughs> it's the one technique you tell me that you can actually do. How do I do that again? We'll get there. Okay. So, lots of people are tuning in, so we'll do some hello. So, we've got Joanna, uh, another doctor, Dr. Geneva Early. Hello. Uh, Tanya like is here. Oma B is here. Wendy, Brandy, Linda, Shirley, Kathy. Uh, Robin is here. Linda is here. So, lots and lots of people are joining Josh, us. Joseph why are you doing is here. Superhero as well. poses behind the camera. <laughs> He is! <laughs> if you're watching on Instagram, you'll be able to see all the shenanigans that go on <laughs> behind the camera as well. So um, I think we'll just dive into today's project. Okay, so I have taken a couple of the recent Hedgehog Hollow subscription boxes. We're going to amalgamate them together to create some fun projects. So I'm going to take the black vellum that was in the WOW embossing box, which was the July 2019 Oh, that was cool. Box. That was when we mixed up the powders, didn't we? Yes. These were all custom mixed. And they we even got a logo on them. Yes, they do. I didn't know that. The WOW embossing powder actually has our logo. Which is kind of cool. Um, I'm trying to remember the I didn't know we had that. Yeah. No. Oh, yeah. That's really cool. So I'm going to cut this down to <laughs> three and three quarters by five inches um, of the black vellum. And then we're also going to need some watercolour paper. Oh, so this is, vellum's a plastic sheet, right? No. So vellum is like parchment, like tracing paper, parchment paper. It's all like that. But oh, this is okay. black. So you don't normally get black oh, vellum. No, before. Yeah. No. So it's kind of cool. It's something a bit different. I put it in with the WOW embossing powders because they all show up. So people keep asking about this sort of stuff. What do you, what inks and stuff do you and don't you use on black vellum? So on them? vellum, you're going to want to use the kind of things you would use on black paper but vellum is a little bit less porous than paper. So you can use your embossing powders on it. You can use your pigment inks on it and then heat dry it. Um, you can use your hybrid inks on it. Your dye inks are gonna take a bit longer to dry, but you'd wanna heat dry them because they're gonna take longer okay, to dry. Okay, so you can pretty much still use everything. You, you just can have pretty to much use heat everything. it, not heat it in the right exactly. way. Exactly, so I'm using my anti-static tool on here. And then I'm going to use, these are out of this month's kit. So this is out of our September kit. These are all peacock themed, peacocks mm. and feathers. Um, and I'm going to create a background with some of them. Oh, I've got a whole peacock book. Yes. That one's cool. So you can pick out a stamp you want to use. No, use a whole peacock. Um, for your emboss resist technique. Is there any particular one or does it matter? No, you can use whatever one you would like to use. So I'm just taking some of these, I'm going to arrange them at random and just create a... They smell funny. It's just because they're new. I'm kind of just arranging them all over. Have I got this out prematurely? You have a little bit, it's fine. That's what she said. Ha, 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 ha. You're so funny, Greg. Not. God, the dad jokes have started early in the day. I'm a dad! It was Tilly's first day of school today. It was. She Isn't was very cute? cute. First ever day at school. She wasn't in the slightest bit bothered, though. No. Didn't even get a goodbye. No, she just ran straight out of the car, straight into school. Happy as Larry since she's been there. So I'm just using my Nouveau Clear Mark here. Oh, I'm going to stamp down. I actually nearly need a new sticky grid too. So that's basically an adhesive, isn't it, that you've stuck on. So what that does is it prints out 
Yeah, it's really hard to <clears> see on camera, but it does give you just like a slight wet mark, which is basically, this is a glue pad. And I'm going to do it twice because there's a couple of areas I can see that it hasn't really caught. Uh, I think I know how we do this again. So you stick the st that stuff on, you get like a sticky thing. Yeah. And then you pour the glittery, messy stuff over the top. Yes. And it sticks to the sticky stuff, but not to the non-sticky stuff. Yes. So you end up with a pattern, and then you heat it with a big heat gun thing. Yes. See, I know what I'm doing. It's all coming back to it now. Yeah, it's all coming back. The funny thing is, you're not coming to Creativation this year. Well, I might not be. No. The boys here have got to learn to craft instead. <laughs> so we <laughs> hope they're paying attention. <laughs> <laughs> right, could you put those stamps back on the thing for me? <laughs> right, let's choose my colour. What should I do? I think I'm going to do copper tone shift. We haven't said anything for a while, honey. You're probably supposed to talk. I'm trying to choose what colour I want. I'm going to use the copper tone shift which was one of our exclusive colours. I think this is one that you mixed, actually, the Copper Tone Shift. I thought I mixed all of them. No, you did not mix all of them. Nice try. <laughs> you did, because the ones you mixed, you forgot to note down what you put in them, so we had to do them all again. And I'm using my little Hedgehog Hollow mug. So for those of you who haven't oh, seen, yes. we now have Greg Design merch that you can now buy underneath the videos. They're in any YouTube video, aren't they? Yep. If you go onto any of our YouTube videos, and just underneath the video, there's a little banner there, and you can... And they're there all designed there, there's by all Greg. Stuff. They are. Greg I designed all of that. Unfortunately, we can't get the pennies. We've been trying to find somewhere that does... Oh, to get dust everywhere. And the one thing about WOW embossing powders, they come in an anti-static... Um, what's the word? Container. Container. Thank you, Greg. I couldn't get my words out. This is the first time in it. <laughs> Has that ever happened before, honey? Oh, You're so mean. So you don't have to use anything extra, so they don't tend to stick. They're really nice. So I'm just going to heat this till it melts. And there's a new Wagner heat tool coming as well, which we actually have to try out. I'm excited to use that. It looks really cool when it's melting. You can watch it. You I hope can. that comes out in the camera. It's really cool. And it looks really nice on the black too. That's why I put the black vellum in, because all of these embossing powders look really nice on the black vellum. Did we test them on black vellum when we were making them? I did I test remember. them on black. I didn't put it on black vellum, but I put it on you black cardstock. Card yeah, yeah. Card yeah. Do you want to show them how that came out? Okay. And this, you can touch it now, can't you? Yep. So let's see who else has joined cool. us. So and Deborah has joined us. Linda is here. That's so um, awesome. It's people... got like a red and a blue sparkle in it. Yeah, so it's called Copper Tone Shift, I called it. Joseph asks, is that heat resistant vellum? So all vellum is heat resistant. You can heat, um, heat and boss on all vellum. Um, Susan just joined, Linda Gorman, who is local to us, Linda just joined. Oh, cool. um, apparently the doc needs some wine. Good point, very well made. <laughs> I agree. Sheila loves that we have such fun together as well. <laughs> Shirley asks, what kind of doctor are you? I have a PhD in tyre engineering, which is all crucial cornerstone of any craft business. Yeah, but should we explain what kind of tyres? Yeah, tyres don't actually exist. I do... <laughs> On a car. No. Can you put air in my tire yes, on my car? Yes, I can. I can. I just don't because it's hard work. <laughs> so, are you of any use whatsoever when it comes to my car? Not really. No. I'm, I'm useful in a tire company. Yeah. No. Um, Sheila says, "What kind of heat tool do I prefer? I like either." Okay, so I do have a video review on heat tools. I like Where's my Wagner heat tool mixed with my Ranger heat it tool for anything that's liquidy or the WOW dual speed one. Either of those, um, I think you can either do the two options or if you like doing the WOW, which covers both, I have reviews on both and you can check those out. And that's because this one is hot, but not a lot of puff. Well, they're it? both the same temperature. Oh, they're both the same temperature, but that one blows hard and this one blows less hard. Yeah. Don't even go there. <laughs> um, Debbie just joined, so did Sandy. 
Um, people are loving us crafting together, and Mary just joined us as well. Okay, so I'm gonna cut a piece down. So you're gonna do the peacock, Greg, so you wanna follow the same process I just followed as well. So I was probably supposed to be paying attention then. Yes. Okay. Which I know you were, because you're always paying attention when I'm talking. Yes, yes, absolutely. Absolutely. Yeah. Is it like a right way off for peacock? Doesn't matter because we're going to cut it out anyway. Oh, okay. So what's this? This is different. This is watercolour paper. Sticky. Where's the... Ah, do I have to do this thing first? Yep. What's this for? It's an anti-static tool. You want to dab. So. Right, I'm going to put my special glue. Which I think actually is by your leg. Well, I'll get everything out while I'm there. Shouldn't you have done this before we started well, the video? Well, maybe, but I forgot. That's what a professional would do. Yeah, well, you know. Professional tyre engineers might know something about what tyre to buy. <laughs> I would do it twice just to be sure. I think it works. I think you missed the head. No. What was I pressing it all wrong? Well, you didn't like press all the details. <laughs> you can't press differently. You either press or you don't press. Right, is that good? Yes. I can't see anything. Oh, very slightly. I don't think any of it's gone down well, there. Well, Where? Like this bit. Well, you can do it a third time. I mean, it's, it's not really difficult it. to see, not just on camera, but this um, this is basically an adhesive, isn't it? Yeah. It's a sticky pad, and it's really difficult to see on this. Uh, textured paper. What sort of paper is this? Watercolour paper. Well, it's hard to see on any white coloured paper, but particularly hard on watercolour paper. Okay. That looks better. That looks better. Okay. It's all in the pressing. Right, so now we do the messy bit. Yeah. Put the lid on your ink pad. Do I take this off? Yes. Or should I leave it on just in case it doesn't? Oh, no, it, wouldn't... it won't make any difference then. Put that back later. Way. Uh, right, what embossing powder are we using? Um, <coughs> well, I've got rose. I would suggest doing it in the gold, but just because we've got gold to mount under there, so everything will match oh, together. Oh, okay, so what we're using is this gold? Yeah, it's the Nouveau Fine Gold. Thank you. Well, Tilly added an extra spoon in. I got you a spare piece of paper to do it. So what I'm going to try and do is pour this over there without <laughs> making a mess, is that right? Yeah. My tummy's rumbling. There we go. Yeah, <laughs> round of applause. <laughs> Can you see how I did that without making any mess, dear? You still need to give it a good flick though. Yeah, but you see how it removes all the residue? Yes, completely removed all of the residue. It's a concrete floor. Concrete with glitter on it. Right, now I need to heat it. Oh no, do the burny thing. You do. Well, ideally not burn it. And normally we turn that on after we've closed the embossing powder. But, you know. Yeah, I'm sure. All right, I'll read some comments. Um, Fred from Bristol's just joined us. Lots of people laughing at us. Uh, Nancy says she's usually at work, so she doesn't get to watch us live. Mary says hello, so does Pamela. Uh, Joseph asks, how do we stop the vellum curling when we glue it to our card? I'm going to show some tricks for that in a minute. 
Um, Tomasa says they like us crafting together when we work. Um, Linda also says it's fun watching us craft again. Um, is that everything? Yeah. No, you've missed a bit in the middle there. It's not done. Oh, is that not cooked or no, is that? it's not cooked. Someone says the camera should stay more stable. Josh! Someone says, am I using a glue pad or an embossing pad? It's the Nouveau Clearmark embossing pad. Honey, I think I've overcooked it now. Yeah, I think you have. Well, there's a fine line. You've told me to cook well, it more. It just lost a bit of its sparkle. You'll be fine. Anyway. It was better be Sheila says, fabulous, Dr. Greg. Yeah, I like Sheila. Thank you, Sheila. Someone else says, I like glittery concrete. It's the best. Uh, Joseph says, I find no matter how careful I am, the embossing powder still goes everywhere. Haley says she loves it. Um, Frox says, hello there. Rachel says, I love you guys as a British transplant myself. You're both too funny. And Kathy <laughs> says, good job, Greg. Yay. Okay, so now you're going to do your resist. I just bought you these. So these are Daniel Smith like dots of watercolour. So you can basically choose any colour you want. Oh, awesome. And... So I'm going to do a brush resist over the gold. Yes. So I want to go something that goes with gold, perhaps like a red. Well, yeah, because I chose... Oh, yeah, let's try and match it to that. So, yeah, one of these, that one. Yeah, so literally all you do is squeeze out some water. Oh, so you actually pick up from yeah. that? Yeah. Oh, that's funky. That's really cool. So this isn't just a... Uh, yeah. What's it called? A swatch sheet. Swatch sheet. You no, actually, this is actually take that the ink colour. from it. That's pretty fun. Yeah. Okay. So you're just... mixing a whole bunch of them together now, are you? No, you just kind of squish off on there and then you choose, you, you can try a different one. So okay. like that one's quite close. So then you can just pick up some more water, take this, and then you can just go over your peacock. That's which, or you could colour it in if you wanted to, or just be I was really rough. Do like a, so you can do, do it do? however you want. Just go outside of it and kind of. Yeah, do it however you want to do it. And then just pick up, up more colour. Or do I need some more water? You can, if you want to squeeze out more water, you can. So that's that. Okay, so. Um, so emboss resist, somebody asked, what is it? So the embossing powder creates an enamel, which means you can go over anything that's water-based and you can see that what Greg's doing is the embossing powder where it's gone to enamel will resist that watercolor or an emboss or it will resist even any water-based inks. So um, you're gonna see in a second, the red will be there um, and the gold will be there, but the two won't mix together. So one resists the other. Now my top tip when it comes to vellum is a particular adhesive, which is this one here. It's called W Plus. It's designed for vellum specifically, and you need just the tiniest little amounts. I mean, I'm gonna use barely any. I'm gonna move this mug out of the way so you can see what I'm doing. It's a tape runner, as I say, it's designed exclusively for vellum. I am gonna put just tiny, tiny amounts on. But it's the only adhesive I have ever found that works on vellum and whether I'm using black vellum, white vellum, silver, gold, whatever color it is, it doesn't show. And I'm literally using about a quarter of an inch on each piece. It's really secure and it works without showing. So I'm just gonna stick this down. It doesn't curl, it doesn't show, it doesn't anything. It is, drops out. You just do this and this drops out so you can refill it. Um, but it works really, really well and you can't even see it. Like what normally, was I looking at? I wasn't paying attention. You see, like here, there's actually tape underneath, but normally with vellum, oh, right. you see it a lot. Oh, no, you can't see it. But you can't all. see it. No, it just looks like it's stuck down. Yeah. <clears throat> so I really, really like this stuff. It's called W Plus Vellum. You buy it on Amazon. It's an Amazon Prime thing, and it's my top, top, top recommendation. So this looks cool, but now in hindsight, we just colored our peacock red, didn't we? You did. You ever seen a red peacock? No, but it's creative. Okay. Right, so what do we do then? Trim that out. So and I'm going to trim top? it out and stick it on top. Do we need to dry it? No, it's, you can if you want. But. I don't know. I'm asking. You're the expert. <laughs> it's the first time you've called me an expert. So why are we using this to dry it? Rather because than... it's well, first of all, it's not going to um, overcook your embossing powder anymore. 
um, and it will dry the stuff without moving it. Um, so this is where you've got a low, a low blow rate, so it doesn't move things about on the page, but yes. it does make them pop. Yeah. So I'm just going to go back into the video and look at people's comments. So people liking that vellum tip, yeah, it is a really, really great tip. Um, as I say, I've never found, I've tried a vellum glues, I've tried all sorts of different tapes, I've tried tear tapes, I've tried everything, and that is the only one I've ever found. And I keep trying new ones, people come out with stuff, they send it to me, they say try it, nothing ever works as well as this one, so. Is that flat enough? Yep, that's good, because we're going to add glue anyway. You want to choose a sentiment. I can't have the heat gun in the way. There's hooks down there. There you go, got it. Got it. Right, sentiment. Pick whatever one you like. There's lots there, there's lots on this <clears> one too. <throat> there's a couple I think on that one. Actually Pretty I designed all read. of this one, oh, sentiments. Fair. Yeah, if you had them the right way round. Let's check on sizes. Why blend in when you were born to stand out? Kind of suits me. It's quite appropriate for a red peacock as well, isn't it? Mm -hmm. Okay, so another top tip is when I have something like this and I want to mat it, but I don't want to measure everything because maybe it's a little bit of an odd size, is I will take it and I will add my double-sided tape. I'll take it, I'll put it on my cardstock like this and I'll mat it so that two of my sides are pretty much even already. So here I have it stuck onto my red cardstock so that this edge and this edge are already matted evenly. And then I'll just trim the other two edges so I don't have to measure anything, do anything. i just pop it on here. That's similar to what you do when you're mounting up, doesn't it? If you get three edges right, the fourth one has to be right because it can't be wrong if the other three are yeah. right. But you actually listening. I always listen to. I'm gonna hold you to that. <laughs> hey! You don't need a round of applause for that one. In a room full of men. Okay. And then do you want to stamp out your sentiment? Do you want a block to do it with or? You might as well do it with the Misty. Okay. And there's some black amalgam ink to stamp it with. Check on the comments. Paul says, good evening. Uh, you two are as mad as hatters, which is usually the sign of a good relationship. Very creative in front of the camera. Uh, Mary also says, thanks so much. So I already have my card base here pre-cut. Um, so and it doesn't stored. matter where I put this, does it? Because no, you're going to cut trim it, out it out anyway. anyway. Yep. And I'm going to use my so Teflon bone folder to firm up my score line. What ink is this? So That's is amalgam ink. So what do you use amalgam ink for? Is this I pretty much use ink? it for everything because it's a hybrid ink. So I can use watercolors with it, alcohol markers with it. I can use anything with it. It's not going to react with any mediums at all, which is why I like it. So what's, why would you ever nice, not strong, use? Um, there's no, unless you want to heat emboss with it, there's no real reason not to. Why on Instagram are we, can't get the cameraman these days. I don't know what they're doing back there. So I'm just adding some foam to the back of your peacock, just to give it a little bit of dimension. This can give it a little bit more across that top edge. That's also a brand new pad, so it's super juicy. Uh. Do you want your peacock straight, or do you want it like on the wonk? I was going to say straight, but on the wonk actually looks quite good. I doesn't quite it? like, on, I the quite like on the wonk. I'm not usually an on the wonk kind of person, but. I know what you're going to say. No, I'm being well behaved. As always. You're right, as but never. 
Right, so there's my sentiment. I'm going to give it a quick blast because it's a bit juicy. Do we need to clean the stamps off with anything? Or? Just some water and kitchen towel. I'll spray it, thank you. <laughs> Stop it! The history is we were doing that before the live and I wasn't about to trust him with... I'm being banned from the water bottle. Because he can't be trusted with it. Aww. Don't start a water fight in the middle <laughs> of the live. Just cut off a finger. <laughs> Especially not when I'm using the guillotine. Oh, I got wet on here now. <laughs> hmm. <laughs> well deserved. Mm. Right. Oh. Are you gonna mount that on some double sided yeah, that that yeah, that thing you're doing. Foam that I've already got in my hand. Yeah. That. yeah. Yes I was. Excellent. It's a good idea I had there. <laughs> <sighs> yeah, I'll put that on straight. Oh my. It moved. You sure that's straight? Yes. Yes. So yeah. How are you supposed to show them? Well, I assumed you would with the longer arms. Yeah. <laughs> oh, I think that's good. I like that. Very pretty. There you go. So we combine lots of different stamp sets. We also wanted to show you how the different Hedgehog Hollow boxes can go together. So we use the June, then the July 2019, and then we also use the September 2019 boxes. Links are in the video description below as well. Do we um, have any of those boxes still available? We do. We do, don't we? Yes. June, July. July and August. No, July and September. Which ones are those available? Both. All of them? Oh, there you go. Um, check out so our website. Yeah. So you can go oh, to... check out our website. We've got a new website. We've been building it for days and nobody's building. said anything. The website yeah. currently looks fantastic. Greg's built us a whole new website. So you can go to thehedgehoghollow.com or thehedgehoghollow.com slash shop or there's a subscription box tab up there now. We have a brand new website. The design team have been putting new posts up. We've been putting new posts up. You can go over there. You can check out the brand new website. We've been putting fun things new. It's totally, totally new. So go check that out as well. Links are in the description below too. And of course, don't forget to hit subscribe, give us a thumbs up, ring the bell for notifications, and hit the join button to become a Hedgehog Hollow Perks member. We'd love to get to know you better oh, yeah, you get loads as of well. Discounts and stuff loads of discounts, there, really. birthday cards. You could even get this card in your mailbox that Greg and I just made. We'll be sending it out to one of our Perks members for the September birthday. So lots and lots of fun reasons to join and sign up. Really great fun things going up if you are over on YouTube. If you're on Instagram, remember to follow, like, subscribe, all of those fun things as well. And we'll see you all again very soon. We will have live week this week. So we'll be live every single day this week. All day tomorrow, we'll be giving stuff away all day long. We'll see you again soon. Happy crafting, everyone. Bye. Bye. Bye.